let's make this bomb glam budget friendly okay bouquet first things first we're gonna go to my favorite spot to get my flowers this is trader joe's i'm not sure if they're in every state but here they're very well priced and it's an organic grocery store i love it i have this inspo sheet I have this inspo sheet that I made, so I'm making sure all the colors that I get of flowers are in those tones and lots and lots of filler flowers. All these filler flowers are gonna make my bouquet really big and luscious. So I'm just looking around to find which roses I want to use, which hydrangeas I want to use, and I'm gonna grab them. Making sure I'm staying in the color palette. You see how all my colors just flow together? That's what I like. With each bouquet, you wanna make sure you have a color scheme. Here's a quick pro tip. When I'm making bouquets, I always put them on, put the flowers on ice after I get home. This is going to kind of freeze your flower until you're ready to start this process. Step one, you wanna organize all of your supplies that you're gonna be needing to make this bouquet. That's all the glam stuff. You wanna make sure you have your flower foam if you're using it, your flower tape. With this one in particular, I'm doing high glam, so I have some um, some uh, diamonds and pearls and this right here this is going to allow your flowers to last a really really long time if you're gonna forget anything make sure that's not it step two let's fill up our vessel and let's start with our floral tape now you want to use the floral tape on top of your vessel because what that's going to do is it allow you to organize all your flowers in each square. They're not gonna move and they're gonna stay put. Step three, organize your flowers, please. When you organize all of your flowers, it allows you to see things a little more clearly. I never miss this step. I'm just setting them on the table so I can see where I wanna start. Step four. Cut your stems and place them in the water. I'm just gonna stick it in this alum. Make sure I get a lot on there. You see that? You wanna make sure you do that. I'm using a, a technique that I've seen on TikTok and it actually works really well. You don't necessarily have to use a mallet and actually I wouldn't use a mallet again, but it worked pretty well. You can also just use scissors to uh, make your cuts and to kind of like squish the bottom of your stem. You see how I only have these baby breaths and this eucalyptus in here and it's already full? That's because these, in particular, these filler flowers that I got are giving me the full look, especially this baby's breath. Now I'm gonna put in some of the main stems. This hydrangea um, is like a really, they have really big heads. So I made sure that I'm only using three for this bouquet and I'm kind of making a triangle effect. I'm leaving the leaves on temporarily, but I am just going to see if I like them to see like the fullness that it gives. And if I don't like it, I'm just going to pick off the, the leaves. I'm cutting about uh, a half inch more off this bottom and then I'm doing four slits on the sides just to make sure you see that I want to make sure all that alum is on the bottom of there. Make sure you don't get any of the leaves inside of the water because it actually causes bacteria and root rot to your stems. I have a few in here, but when this was given, uh, there were no leaves in the bottom. Look how full that looks with just two fillers and one main flower. Now onto the roses. I'm going to cut them down about maybe an inch, inch and a half. Now look at that. You can actually deliver it similar to this and I'm almost positive your client is going to be very very happy for me I wanted to add that pop of pink because that is the favorite color of who this is for so that's what I'm doing next I'm doing the same thing that I did before I have one dozen and I am just going to place them all scattered all around the bouquet you see how they're not clumped together that's what you want you kind of want to do a zigzag effect you see how I'm going up and down, up and down, up and down. You see the pink and white? They're up and down, up and down. Now, this is my favorite plant to use in a bouquet. It is called an amaranth, and it is just kind of crinkly and wild, and I think it adds so much personality to your bouquet. I just stuck two on the outsides, 
And um, it's just giving like that fullness and that rich vibe, that rich auntie vibe that I'm going for with this bouquet. I think she's absolutely going to love it. And it turned out perfectly. Now I'm going to add the high glam stuff. I'm using regular pearls that I got from Hobby Lobby. They're $10. And this is another pro tip. You want to make sure when you're getting all of your accessories for your bouquet that you try and go on a sell day. I didn't do that this time because I didn't prioritize it. But you definitely want to make sure you try and look for sell days for all of the cute accessories. And get them beforehand. Don't wait till the last minute. With these pearls, I am just going to wrap them around strong stems and let them hang organically I'm not I don't want it to look perfect because I feel like the bouquet itself is already perfect in my mind that I kind of just want the pearls to just hang and sway whichever way they desire so I'm just kind of like grazing my hand around it but letting the pearls do the work At the end, I will cut off all of those big leaves on the bottom so that the stems are very, very clear. I'll also get the floral tape from around the brim of the vessel. I got this 90 sign and I love it so much. This is how the bouquet came out. I hope that it was quick and easy for you. I hope that the tips that I gave you work in your next bouquet. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Tag me on Instagram. Bye. You know